Climate change affects us all. And in Switzerland, it hits us especially hard. The climate crisis impacts not only our activities in the mountains, but is also increasingly felt in our everyday lives. And yet, all of us are already doing a lot to minimize our footprint. That's important, but it's not enough. However, it is in your hands to ensure that Switzerland moves ahead with climate protection. This summer, assume responsibility. On June 13th, we're voting on the new law governing CO2 emissions. That's when we lay the groundwork for climate protection, as envisaged by the Paris Agreement. The goal? A 50% reduction in CO2 emissions by 2030 versus 1990. Let us explain our five-step plan on how to get there. A new national climate fund will promote climate-friendly projects, innovation, and research. For example, new lines in Europe's night train network, building renovations, or the development of synthetic fuels for airplanes. Car importers will be obliged to sell more fuel-efficient cars. By 2030, motor vehicles should, on average, have reduced gasoline and diesel consumption by half. Compared with today, gas will be a few cents more expensive, but your car will guzzle less fuel. A levy on airline tickets is intended to reduce air travel. This will make climate-friendly alternatives, like rail and bus, more competitive. Half of the tax will go to the climate fund. The rest will be distributed back to the Swiss population and to businesses. The goal is to stop heating our houses with oil. If you're a homeowner, you stand to benefit from financial support for installing alternative heating systems. If you rent, your heating costs will be lower, since climate-friendly heating systems are usually cheaper to run. Banks, insurance companies, and pension funds in Switzerland have huge investments in companies that make money with oil. In the future, climate risks will have to be reported. That will lay the groundwork for reducing the ecological footprint of the Swiss financial industry. The new CO2 bill is effective, equitable, and innovative. It's the right legislation at the right time. We have no time to lose, so that future generations can enjoy the mountains and nature as we do.